Hey everyone, Jan here, codingwithjan.com. So, special video. Today I want to show you how we can pick the best themes in under 10 minutes, free and paid ones. Purposefully, zero affiliate links in the description, which means losing out on several thousands in affiliate commissions, which kind of sucks because I don't hate money, but I want this to be as trustworthy and unbiased as possible. Now, if you're wondering why, as a developer, I've seen hundreds of stores over the last six years, some of them just starting out, some of them doing tens and millions of revenue per year. And especially when it comes to themes, there is so much misinformation out there uh, because people just promote the heck out of whatever pays them best. And today we're going to clear up with that. So it should be a lot of fun and let's dive right in. Okay, so then let's get started with free themes first. The easiest way to find them is on the official theme store. So you just go to all themes and then filter for price tag free. And if you are on a budget, my very clear recommendation is to just get started with the dawn theme. Actually, multiple of the themes you find in here are built on dawn. So it is quite flexible. Um, I can show you that right here. So obviously you have the Dawn theme itself, but then you also have the craft theme. You have sense, right, taste, crave. And all these themes are literally just duplicates of the Dawn theme, but in a different configuration. And that already goes to show that it is quite flexible and that you do have everything you need to get started. And then in the beginning, your time is better spent on marketing activities anyways. Now, from a programming standpoint, the code base of the Dawn theme is also very clean, which means it will be easier for a developer to make changes and they will save you a bunch of money in the long run. The theme is also officially built and maintained by Shopify, so it always follows the best practices, it's quick in terms of loading times, and since the theme is so popular, it also seamlessly integrates with most of the apps on the App Store, which is something yeah, most people starting out don't even have on their radar. And that's why overall I would say it's a very solid choice. And if you're just starting out on a budget, I would just recommend using the Dawn theme. Don't overcomplicate it and just get started. All right, now how about the paid slash premium themes? Uh, let me say this upfront. I think if you're serious about building an e-commerce business and if you can invest the three to four hundred dollars, I would highly recommend starting with a premium theme. And I'll tell you why in a second. But let me also say, I would only recommend getting them from the official theme store. Uh, reason being here is that there's actually a very long list of requirements if you wanna get a theme listed. And then you also have to pass Shopify's review process. Yeah, so it's actually quite difficult to get a theme listed. And that means all the themes in here already follow certain quality standards, certain guidelines. And that is definitely not the case with some of the themes on third-party marketplaces. Yeah, to be fair here, I'm not saying I've tested like every single theme in the world, and I'm sure there are pretty good ones out there, but also the most poorly coded themes that I have seen in my life always came from third-party marketplaces. And that's why I would advise against that personally. Okay, with that out of the way, which of the 227 themes should you pick? Not an easy decision. In general, I would recommend just pick the one you like best. It's kind of hard to make, a, to make a bad choice here. But if you want to make your life a little easier, I would use this sort feature right here and then sort by popularity and then look at the top 15. Yeah, Just pick any theme you like from the top 15, ideally the one that like gets closest to what you're trying to build because any of the top 15 have like thousands of installs, they are battle tested, they integrate with most apps out there. They also have solid support teams, which is another benefit you get with premium themes. Yeah, if you have a question, for example, and you can also take a look at some of the companies behind these themes. So three of my favorite companies include Maestro. I think they own three or four of the top 15 themes. And that's an agency or theme company from France. One of the co-founders name is Axel and I had the pleasure to meet him during one of the Shopify events in Paris last year. Super nice guy, very active in the community and he even purchased one of my JavaScript trainings for his junior developers to check out just to support creators like me, which was a big honor. Then we have Archetype Themes, another great theme company. Um, their themes are known to be very extendable and yeah, this is the CEO, Thomas Kelly, uh, also great guy, super active in the Shopify developer community. They even provide developer toolkits. Uh, Thomas has quite a few YouTube videos. Uh, he even joined us on this channel here for two interviews in total on like 
how to build themes and shared his experience, which is awesome. And my third recommendation would be Clean Canvas, another great theme company. Um, their CEO, Marcus, also joined us on this channel before for an interview. And their team even invited me for a tequila shot during Shopify Unite in London back in 2022 which is yeah completely unrelated to their uh, theme quality but just goes to show that i'm messing this up uh, it just goes to show that yeah these are like legit companies they have full-time employees they have solid support teams and they enjoy fantastic report in the shopify space all right then the last thing you can look out for is if you're searching for very specific features on a theme because you can filter for these as well so down here you have this feature tab and let's just say you are looking for a countdown timer, um, mega menu and quick view features. Then you might rather want to consider these themes here. You can still sort by popularity, but that's another thing where premium themes really shine because they tend to have more features in general than let's say a free theme. And if you hire a developer to build all the features you want into a free theme, it might already cost you more than the four or 300. So that alone might offset or justify the investment of getting one of the premium themes. So in summary, I believe that premium themes are worth it because you save money on development, you're more flexible, you can launch faster, which also means saving time, and you get access to premium support teams. And I believe most professional developers would share a similar perspective. But if you have a specific favorite theme, let me know in the comments. I'm always curious. All right, so that was my take on themes as promised in under 10 minutes and i really hope this makes the selection process a little easier for you or less overwhelming let's say and if you need help with anything feel free to reach out or leave a comment or let me know what you think in general and yeah wish you all the success in the world have an amazing rest of your day i'll catch you later bye